How's it going? This is Mike Hatzis, aka Bang Include. I'm here at Dub Spot. I made a little wobble patch for my lemur that I'm going to show off for you. Hopefully, you've checked out my previous wobble video that I've made for Dub Spot. In that video, we used a sample to create our sound. In this video, we're actually going to synthesize the sound from scratch using Ableton's operator synth. So I'm just going over to my device browser and just dragging in the default instance of operator. Operator's primary type of synthesis is frequency modulation or FM. FM is really good for dirty digital sounds, like the kinds of wobble sounds I hear on recent dubstep tracks. You can see right here that I'm using the default patches algorithm which will allow us to get a very dirty digital sound. So let's go over to the operators. The first thing we want to do is to come up with a bass sound and then we'll use our filter and the LFO to give us the wobble. By default, we just have a sine wave playing and uh, we could apply a little FM from operator B. That makes it sound a little bit grittier, but at the same time, it's, it's it's still a little too tame for what we want. So again, I'm going to operator A, and I'm going to switch this up to a square wave. We could hear the square wave is is dirty enough as it is, but now we add some FM, it's going to make it even even nastier. So something like that's a good start. All right, so we just have these two operators being used. And now we're going to add some FM from C. Right, and that, that dirties up the sound further. Now I'm going to switch this over to square as well. And you could hear again how just switching it over to a square wave just really, really grits up the sound a bit. And notice how by changing the volumes of the modulators, meaning operators B and C, how it greatly changes the overall timbre of the sound. And let's just add a little more FM from operator D. Let's quickly use the chorus knobs to further tune the sound. Notice that the higher the value here, the more harmonics we are adding, meaning the more high end in the sound. I'm going to leave C and D to 2, so we have a little bit more high end buzz in our sound. So now that we have the bass sound down, let's add the wobble. To add the wobble, we're going over to the filter, and I'm just going to turn that on. And I'm going to use a low pass for this one, and I'm going to go with the low SVF. I think it has a, a bit of a nicer sound than the default 12 decibel or the default 24 decibel. So to add the actual the wobble, we need to set the LFO to change the filter. So I'm just going to turn on my LFO. And if you look down here, by default, the LFO is modulating or changing the pitch of the different oscillators or operators. So we're just going to turn that off, and uh, we're going to set that to filter. So now it's changing this knob right here. So that's that's exactly what this LFO is doing. It's just changing that knob right there or the filter frequency. So we just want to set the LFO to sync to live's clock. So now we have nice divisions like 16th notes, 8th notes, so on and so forth. 
just want to increase the amount and we just want to tune the filter cut off a little bit and leave it somewhere about there now a couple more things we're going to do inside All right, you can see we have a few more controls down here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add velocity to filter cutoff modulation just to make the sound a bit more expressive so the harder we hit the key that'll have an effect on the filter cutoff and I'm also going into the global section and I'm changing my voices to one. That allows us to only be able to play one note at a time. And that combined with this glide will allow us to glide from one note to another. Cool, so that, that's a that's pretty good so far. Now let's go back over to the operators and play around with those, just tune the sound up a bit. Just just play around with these, take a minute. And and you notice just by changing these knobs, the level knob subtly and the chorus knob subtly, you can come up with, with infinite different timbres to the sound. Now some of these tones are a bit more effective than the next. But experiment around and I'm sure you could come up with something that fits your sound. Okay. 